Bank United Center as Miami gets set to take on Clemson, ready for this ACC conference game to start. The Tigers coming at nine and eight, one and two. They whipped Florida State in their first game, dropped a close one to BC, and a seven-point loss to Duke. T.J. Sapp and Tanner Smith joining Andre Young in the backcourt. You got Milton Jennings and Devin Booker, the big men. Speaking of big men, Kenny Kaji's had a terrific start this year. Reggie Johnson just getting going. Duran Scott joins Malcolm Grant and Trey McKinney Jones. A three-guard look for Miami. Mr. Bob. His return, however, has helped Kenny Kaji blossom as the big man in compliment to Reggie Johnson. Underway. What's the pace going to be like here, Dan? I think it's going to be a relatively slowly paced game. Neither one of these teams particularly tries to push the ball up and down the court. Miami starts in the man-to-man -man defense. Clemson running the motion offense. This is T.J. Sapp, the freshman out of Fort Lauderdale. He's got a lot of friends and family here for this one. Clemson already deep into the shot clock. Young off a screen. Open is Jennings. And he bangs home a three. Now that is that is a big shot for Milton Jennings. He comes in on the season only having made three three-point shots all year long. He's now four for 15. So if he can get that one to go, that really helps the Tigers, who start out in a man-to-man -man defense as well. This is an outstanding defensive team. Reggie Johnson, a screen for Duran Scott, a penetrating point guard. McKinney Jones, a good shooter. In addition to the team this year, goes to the bucket, kicks it out, Grant launches, and hits. That's exactly what we're talking about, Rich. You get that dribble penetration, you force the defense to collapse. Everybody knows Malcolm Grant can shoot the ball, but you got to get him open, and that's how you do it. You force the defense to collapse inside. And both coaches have to maybe sigh a little bit of a relief that their teams have hit their first shots each, because as you noted, both teams have had trouble shooting. Johnson got a hand on that Jennings shot. Back out top. That's not classic offense right there, but they kept the ball. That's not in the motion offense playbook. Nice pass this by is. Smith. Tanner Smith, one of the better passers in the ACC, and he finds Jennings for the dunk. These have faced each other a lot, just not in the ACC. Yeah. Well, it was the same initials. It was the CAA. <laughs> And Jim Laranega, of course, was having his great run at George Mason, and Brownell was going to NCAA tournaments with UNC Wilmington. Duran Scott, there's the pressure extended by Sapp. Scott trying to get to the bucket, and a nice help by Devin Booker. Tip by Booker won't go. Off the miss by Tanner Smith, who's just getting back into front court. Kaji finds Grant. Didn't take him long to get it up and in. That's the other way you can get Malcolm Grant open for some easier shots. He struggled with his shooting recently. I think it's the type of shots he's been getting, but you get wide open shots off penetration, and you get wide open shots in transition. Clemson played a very good floor game against Duke. Whistle and a foul. So nice job by Kaji. Booker wide open for the dunk and the foul. In ACC games is staying in the game. He's fouled out of a game. He averages four fouls per game in ACC play, so he's got to keep himself on the court. Guards have matched up size versus size. The shorter Young against the shorter Malcolm Grant. And a ball out of bounds. Turnover on Miami. Tigers with the lead and the ball. We're three minutes in. Only game in the conference tonight. Jim Laranega in his first year at Miami and he didn't really have the team that he inherited for the first month and a half with Reggie Johnson being out Daquan Jones out and an injury to big man Julian Gamble Gamble the only one that's not back Gamble is out for the year Smith quick release and that's a shot I think that Clemson is going to have to make if they're going to have success not only tonight but in conference play that wide open three after the ball goes inside Malcolm Grant now two for three from beyond the arc Reggie Johnson the rebound Duke out rebounded Duke had fewer turnovers than Duke but they shot just 39 percent from the field and they were 10 of 20 from the line Young penetration Kaji stepped in the passing lane and this is Kaji 
Johnson put it on the floor, and he's fouled. And of course, looks a whole lot better now after what Florida State did to North Carolina. And the amazing thing, they scored 79 points against one of the best defensive teams in the country. Little half-court trap. Sapp misses the three. Duran Scott in transition. McKinney Jones with a soft kiss and the lay-in. And Miami's on top. Tigers pushing some tempo. Smith to Sapp. And they'll reset. Hall penetrates, can't finish. Johnson's outlet. Grant, gorgeous pass. Kaji with a dunk. Once again, we see the Miami defense creating offense. Clemson fumbling the ball away, and that allows the Hurricanes to get out in transition. Jennings feeds the post. Devin Booker. Boy, tough shot. The spinning jumper won't go. Trey McKinney Jones, Miami with the ball. A 6 0 run for the Hurricanes. Over five minutes have gone by. Four games in the ACC tomorrow night. This is the only one tonight. And Scott pumps in a three. Wow. And Durant Scott is, he's not having a great year shooting the ball at all from any place on the court, but particularly from beyond the three-point arc, but he was wide open that time. Jennings misses. Johnson the rebound. Miami's guards downright awful in their two ACC losses at 0-2. Their guards 14 of 54 from the field. Now in their defense, they lost to North Carolina and Virginia on the road. And tonight, total opposite. Scott again. Right on their heels throughout the season, and that is very inefficient on the offensive end. They've kicked the ball away a couple of times. They've missed some open shots, and as a result, they've allowed Miami to get out and play in transition. When you guard like Clemson can guard, and they're an excellent defensive team, you want to force your opponent to play against your set defense every time. Clemson hasn't been able to accomplish that here over the last few minutes. Kataline bites you in the ball game for the Tigers, and he almost throws it away. Nice save there by Andre Young. Smith, the baseline drive. Four by Chu. Scott stole it, stole it. And McKinney Jones steps through and lays it in. And the run continues for Miami. And it continues in the same manner. Hall rejected. Kaji. McKinney Jones short on the three. He needed to get about four steps closer. <laughs> I don't know why he was shooting at that deep. Smith steps into a three and drains it. And that is a big, big basket for the Clemson Tigers. They needed something to stop that run. Brian Brown in the ballgame for Miami. Tanner Smith gets a hand on it. Right now, at the top of Clemson, 19-11. And Miami off to a quick start. Well, they're off to a quick start because they've been getting very good shots, and for the most part, it's been off the defensive end. They've created some turnovers. They've been able to play in transition, and Reggie Johnson, when he gets the ball in the middle and he's not under pressure, he can find open people, and there's another transition battle.